when I was 18 years old, I was not a very athletic kid and I was playing a recreational game and I was running after the ball and I had my right foot on the ball, right? And I was trying to kick it back to a teammate. At the same time, there was a guy running up here who kicked the ball out from under me, like slide tackled into it. And what I didn't know is directly behind me, I had a teammate who was running up to battle that and try to kick it back the other way. So they were trying to both kick it at the same time. This guy behind me didn't get there in time, so he slide tackled. My whole body weight was on the soccer ball. So my right foot went whoop, up into the air, and then this guy ran into my foot and scorpioned my foot into the back of my head. So the back of my right heel touched right here, just for a split second, just clipped it. And I heard just bup, 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 you know, all in that moment and felt all these like weird cracks and issues and I don't know what. And I woke up several minutes later, I don't know how much longer later on the sidelines. And I just remember holding my knees into my chest and just pulling them. And as an 18 year old, I'm thinking, you know, whatever, we were playing soccer and I fell and I got hit, no big deal. Three months later, I'm working out at the gym and I'm doing this leg lift on a decline bench, both legs at the same time. And suddenly I go up and I hear, internally, right? And I just broke into tears. Just massive amounts of pain. <laughs> I get it properly looked at. I've essentially got four or five herniated discs. Really, really bad. Like horribly bad. To the point where you've got a couple choices. You either try to rehab it or you get spinal fusion, right? But all I knew is don't put metal in my body. I'll figure this out. So three years of tremendous pain and discomfort and trying things and stretching and PNF and all the range of motion assessments I could find in the world. I became a professional helping other people heal their injuries and I couldn't even get my own because mine was so much more significant at such a younger age that when someone would come in with like a knee issue, I had learned so much about healing myself that it was much easier to help them. And I just kept on that journey of trying to figure it out. And I, I found some stuff that would work for like a day and then it would just come back worse. And I just was in this rat race, this hamster wheel of trying to solve my issue. I also went really deep down into like myofascial release. I went down that rabbit hole, you know, foam rolling, how to do like various active stretching techniques, passive stretching protocols, uh, various like muscle activation protocols as well, even before I got into muscle activation itself. I mean, the list goes on and on. I did precision nutrition. So I was trying to play with that realm too and see if the nutrition could help. Cut out gluten, cut out dairy, cut out soy, corn, all those bad things, right? Canola oil, stopped eating out, cooked all my own food, went on like a cleaner diet, all of that stuff. And just nothing, just nothing. It was all temporary fixes. I accidentally got better. It was a total accident. It was not on purpose. There was one trainer who was like often the number one salesperson in the US for a lifetime. And I'm looking at his bio on the wall and I'm comparing it to the other 30 trainers at this place. And I'm like, what does he have that no one else has? And he's got this certification that no one else had. And he's the best and a lot better than the rest at this club. So that must be it, right? So I signed up and we were just practicing the movements, these like isometrics and just practicing assessing people with your hands and like moving their body around. And I remember waking up the second day of the workshop to go and when I woke up and I sat up, I didn't have pain. And this is like, I had chronic pain every day for three years at the time. So I woke up that second day for that class, no pain. Took my first few steps, no sensitivity, no sensations, right? I was like, what happened? You know, because at the time pain was all I knew. And then I went to that class, I started doing stuff, felt good. Woke up the third day, no pain. After the three days of the class, that Monday came around, I'm like, I'm gonna go run a 5K, because usually that bugs it pretty bad. Did the whole 5K, no problem. I'm like, I'm gonna go do an MMA class later that day. Went to the MMA class, no problem. Woke up the next day, no pain. And I was like, okay, what has happened to my body? Why is this different, right? I stopped doing everything else. And I just started saying, what is this thing that they're trying to teach us? Let me figure out what's working about this. And I went on a deep, deep dive. Like I just, I went really intense into this whole world to figure out why was all this other stuff that was so famous that everyone supported not working for me. 
I felt like I had helped a lot of people with this stuff that I had been learning and creating and teaching, right? And then I would move to a new area and like get as many people into it as I could, teach as many people as I could, help as many people as I could. Every time I would move, all of the clients that I had been working with, let's say 75% of them would like fall apart again. Not as bad as they were before, but they definitely wouldn't keep the progress that we had made. And I just kept wondering, like, is there anything I can do about that? Is there any system that could help that? And the answer was definitely yes, but the answer was also, I have no idea what that looks like right now. But I started to create things, right? I would make little videos for people and be like, do this exercise in like this way. And I would send them like four videos of like them doing it with me so that they could do it forever on their own. But people would never do it. It was like two or three people started doing it on their own forever. And I would hit them up a year or two years later and they're like, wow, you have no idea how much I've progressed. It's been amazing. I keep doing those exercises and it's like amazing how much my life has changed. And I apply it to all these other things and I'm like, there's something to this. Like there wasn't many people that stuck with it, but when they did, it was amazing. And I just started thinking, how can I solve the problem of people wanting to do it more or making it even like something joyful, something they look forward to doing. And that's where the idea of the dojo began, where I was like, I've got to make it so that not only can it really dramatically help people and they can have those 60 second experiences, but how can we do it long term and how can we have it really infect their whole life? The most amazing thing for sure about building this is Back in the day when I would have like demos with people, they would sit down, I would assess them. They just feel me moving their body around and like listening to my cues. And then I would fix them. I would do all this fancy technique stuff and I would do all these things and talk to them about certain emotions and I would fix them. It's the exact opposite now. But then they are healing themselves. And you walk away from that experience profoundly changed knowing that I didn't do anything for you. I just helped you figure it out for yourself. That's a big difference. It's a really big difference. And they get better faster now than when I did it for them. That's crazy. When I think about the dojo, I think of a gradient, right? I think of people's first impression and what they want them to understand. And that's that A, your body is perfect and we're gonna create a perfect body as perfect as it can be for you. So that's the first thing. I want people to show up to the website. I want people to show up to the course, show up to the calls, show up to the community and be like, everything that I'm living with right now is perfect and we're gonna make it even more perfect. We're gonna make it ideal for what you want, right? When you up level a little bit in the dojo, you've created kind of that, that perfect body where you feel you're living a comfortable life then we want to create this ecosystem where you can really build a body, a physical experience, and an emotional and a spiritual experience through the body, where life is play and life is full of joy. And it's full of joy regardless of the circumstances of your life. And it's, it's very true. If your body is good, if your body's healthy, if you practice this stuff, it's, it's hard to only be sad. You can be sad still, that's great. Sensitivity's great but you can still smile through all these things. It makes everything in life easier. It makes everything less edgy, right? It makes everything like a soft, like a soft blow, no matter how hard the thing is. And I want people to experience that.